How's it going guys? Before we get into today's video, I have a quick question for you I'd like you to answer in the comment below. So basically, this is my villager trading hall. It's nice. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm currently working on finishing decorating it. I'm about halfway done. And I need it to be protected from mobs so that people, like zombies, can't just walk straight in here. So one thing I was considering doing was just walling it up, maybe making it a too high wall, too high wall, all the way around it, and then I would just fly in and out, and that'd be it. But then I was thinking, what if I completely encase this with a uh, stone wall and then a glass ceiling or something like that, and then I make a piston door to walk in and out? I can't decide. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. How's it going, Craft Idiot people? My name's Kevil, and welcome back to the server. So, it has been 37 days since I was last online. I'm sorry for that. I kind of took a break that I didn't plan on doing, and we're back. It was nice to take a break, I will say. Uh, I was getting a bit burned out on the server, but we are back. Uh, we have a mega base to finish. So first off, thank you Super TNT for providing the skin for today's episode. So he made this beard skin for me using my Google or YouTube uh, play button shirt. So thank you very much, and we will be wearing it all episode. So first off, we have some stuff to work on uh, inside the base. Uh, so I, I really, really want the inside of the base to be fully done. And I love the walls. I, I'm super happy with the walls. So this, I need to duplicate the uh, ice and snow over here in today's episode. Uh, same with the stalag, whatever you are. And then I also need to figure out what I'm gonna do to the roof. Cause right now the roof is flat and dark and I don't want that. I need to do something to it. Uh, and I think that's gonna be mini little icicles. Tiny small icicles all over the full thing. Uh, and I think that's gonna finish it out. So that's planned. I forgot to light up that area, so I'll have to do that. And I, of course, want to finish the cacti farm, the pumpkin farm, and the new melon farm. So the melon farm is new. I did this a, a couple days ago in preparation for today. I kind of just got on and I was thinking about streaming that day, but ended up didn't, and instead just built this and then got off. Uh, it, was a, it was a quick day. So that's where we're at. Uh, so I'm gonna do some prep work, figuring out what all I want to get done today, and I'm gonna actually be streaming later. So hopefully you guys are online and catch the stream, and if not, then you'll see what happened in the video. So yeah, I'm gonna do some prep work, and I'm gonna make a list of what needs to get done. So I'll see you guys when I have that list ready. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new office. We have a nice little book collection here. I forgot to put a book on display. We have a very nice fireplace. I quite like it. And then we have our little workstation. We have two desks separated, one to do work at with our nice little toggleable light, and then one to do our brewing. And I also forgot to put water in the cauldron. But here is the main reason we are here. The wall of things to do, which is currently blank because we need to fill it out. So I think it's obvious, but our last goal is obviously going to be stonks. But what do we need to do to get to there? That's what we must decide. So I'm going to do a walk around the base and see what I want to put on the wall of things to do. So I'm going to take notes and then I'm going to put it all down there and I'll go over it with you guys. It is genuinely kind of funny how perfectly this all fit on here. So we need to finish the inside of the base to start with, which is basically uh, finish the farms and finish decorating the ceiling. And then we will be done inside of my base. We need to work on the outside. In order to do that, we have to make a gold trading farm in the nether, and I'm thinking of building it at the Star Wars warp that uh, somebody on a live stream told me they wanted me to build on there, and it's been like two months and I haven't built over there, so maybe I'll do that. Uh, and then we'll obviously do some trading for Blackstone, uh, and we're gonna do so a mega mining for Blackstone. Fill a bunch of shulker boxes is the plan. Then, with that blackstone, I'm going to build the castle wall first, and then build the buildings. Uh, I want to finish the, uh, the decorating on the outside of the castle, finish decorating inside of the buildings, add ice snow texture to the wall. Uh, we're going to build the great elevator, 
and then we're going to decorate the top of the wall. So there is stuff that belongs at the top of the wall, and we're going to put some armor stand soldiers up there, which is going to look really cool. Lastly, I want to finish all the farms that I have downstairs, the uh, manual farms that I've been building, and then record a I built Castle Black in Minecraft video, post it on YouTube, share it to Reddit, stonks. That's the plan. That is the plan. That's what we're going to do. So, uh, yeah, if you don't mind me, I'm going to I'm going to go do that stuff. Uh, OK, just just failed to walk out the door. That was so much less dramatic than I wanted it to be. And with that, we are ready for our live stream. So I'm going to get off for a little bit. I'm going to have some lunch. And then when I get back on, I'm going to finish building all of these farms. So hopefully when uh, you next see this, these farms will be all the way to the ceiling. So we have max uh, yields. And then I'm going to hopefully do some decorating in here. I'm not sure how long I'm going to stream. But if we have enough time, I want to uh, figure out what to do with the ceiling. Because uh, we, we need to make it so it's not so dark and flat. That That's the problem right now. And then same goes with this wall. It's just too flat. It kind of stands out. So I think it needs some texture as well. One live stream later. Also, I apologize. I'm kind of coming down with a cold, and you can kind of hear it in this clip. So we were live for a total of about two and a half hours, and this is all I did. I got the back wall completely done to the ceiling, which looks good. I'm super happy with it. It, it needed to get done, so I'm happy we did it on live stream. But then we kind of just got bored. So I did a little bit of building out here. So we have uh, this building redesigned. So we no longer have the uh, stone and cobblestone. We went with the black stone with the brick and everything like that. And I'm pretty happy with it. We also put this Enderman in a boat. And he's still here a day later. And I'm kind of surprised. I, th I thought he would have despawned. So th this is my berry farm, if no one remembers. It's been a long time since I've used this building. Uh, but it is one of the buildings on the map of Castle Black. But yeah, it's just a, a berry farm. You use bone meal to automatically make berries. Just like that. Super easy, super easy farm. Take that out of there. Otherwise, there's a redstone clock firing. But yeah, I have like two double chest worth of berries, which I will never ever use, but they're there to be forgotten about, essentially. So we have more building supplies, and I want to gather up some more building supplies before today is over. But I think that. I'm going to start today. Today's the last day of recording for this episode. And I'm going to try to finish the melon farm. Melon farm completely done in a time lapse right now. And maybe cactus and uh, pumpkin farm if I have the time. The funny thing is, I already have way more of everything than I need. I Like, I'm never going to use this much pumpkin. I'm only finishing the farms for the look of the base, to make it look complete. Uh, because I have so much melon, I'd, I'll i never use this much melon. This is half a farm done. And I'm almost full on melon with only half the farm done and no AFKing done. It's ridiculous. This is a super fast farm. I didn't realize how fast this was going to be. So, yeah, I'm going to get it finished for the sake of the build looking complete. And with this block, I trapped myself inside, but we are done with the melon farm. It is fully done, and luckily we are at a server where we can do home S and look at it in all its glory. A finished melon farm. Oh, I forgot to put the glass in the front. A nearly finished melon farm. It looks great. And, ooh. That's going to bother me. The, you can't see the water on this side, but you can see the water on this side. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go through and fix that. But I'm not going to do that right now. So we have a fully done melon farm once I put the glass in the front. Uh, I'm going to do the pumpkin farm right now because I'm kind of in the zone. This melon farm took me... What time is it? Uh, almost two hours to finish it, which is kind of sad. Uh... 
I, I did get distracted a lot, and I had to keep going to buy resources. Uh, I should just make a huge ton of pistons right now. So that way I, I don't have to go s keep buying them. I've actually spent, like, 8k to get this so far. I was at 2.5 million, and now I'm about 2.42. So, yeah, I, I should probably stop spending the money so frugally. So we'll get the pumpkin farm done. Pumpkin farm is actually more important than the melon farm. I don't know why I finished the melon farm first. But we'll get that. We'll get this one done here right now. And then I don't know if I'll do the cactus farm today or not. Uh, oh, I still have so much more to do on the cactus farm, actually. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get that done today. But we'll see. We'll see. So update. Here's where we're at. Three days have passed. So I am back here on the server. It has been a couple of days. Uh, I just was working like crazy. And yeah, I didn't have time to finish this video. So here we are. Uh, basically, I spent this morning kind of out here thinking about what I want to do to finish this area. And I definitely want to make sure no mobs can enter this space here. So we put up this uh, wall. Uh, I, I kind of wanted a nice hard line to separate uh the two different builds so here this is all castle black themed game of thrones and then here is a completely separate unrelated villager trading hall uh, i i built it close to my base i probably could have fit these guys inside the wall somewhere like hindsight i i wish these guys weren't so visible but it is what it is here they are and yeah, I, I want to I want this to place ah, I want to get this place nice and decorated. So as you might remember, uh, over here we have all stone masons. So I gave them a nice stone area. It, it honestly looks really nice. I like this mix of uh, color palette. And then we have our farmers. So obviously they got some farmland. And then next I am working on the fishermen. We only have two fishermen, so a little creek is running through. And I'm probably going to build a little bridge. And then moving on, we have the Fletchers. So obviously, we're going to have some targets and bow-related things. And then we get the Cleric. So a netherish build. And then the Librarians are going to just probably get some kind of a fancy library. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. And then uh, our Blacksmiths are going to get a cool little forge with lava and stuff like that. So... That is something I'm going to probably work on off camera. It's a little bit tedious, and I'm like, I'm like pausing to figure out what blocks look good and things like that. So, yeah, it's not really something I want to do recording. It's more I'll just give you a big reveal next episode. So, yeah, that is that is the plan for the rest of today, and uh, obviously editing and getting this video out to you guys because it is several days late because I didn't finish editing it. Uh, well, I didn't even start editing it before I went to work. So that that's on me. Sorry for the late episode. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Hope you guys uh, stuck around to the end. If you did make it this far, why don't you leave a comment saying uh, bees. Just, just comment the word bees. Uh, so yeah, see you guys in the next episode. My name's Kevil. And uh, let's give a quick shout out again to... Uh, Super TNT for the skin.